Okay guys, welcome back. So I've created a bow. Previously we thought how to how to craft a bow, so I've craft a bow. And yep, I can I found out I can switch weapons more between range like um like that. Okay, so let's go in. I think this is a gasoline okay, let's go in. Oh shit, that's a zombie. Die, die fucking zombie. Oh shit, oh yeah the sound the sounds, oh my god. The zombies coming, the zombies gonna come. Oh, why, why is the zombie? Oh, it's just a recipe. Okay, yeah, where do I go now? Where do I go now? Where do I go now? I have to go back, I have to go back. Before that, let me craft this. No, 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 no. Oh man, should I stay here? Should I stay here till the morning comes? Oh, the first aid kit. And... Can I cook? I can't... What can I cook? Oh shit, I used to... Oh man. Oh, cook! Okay, so what I cook, what I what I get. Mm, not bad. Okay, let's take this and run back to the the or uh, run back to Ramon. If only I remember how to walk. Burn you fools. Burn. 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 Why is it? Why is the camera in good? Oh, okay. Let's try to be my mom. Okay. Burn. 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 You guys gonna burn. Burn, 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 burn! Yep, burn! Oh shit, shit! No, no, get away from me! Oh my god, that's scary! Ah, well done! I have to say, I didn't even think you survived. No, oh, so you threw me there, just got, grab your stuff, and then you want me to die, right, asshole? What the fuck? Look, there may be a survivor. Go see who it is. I'll prep the boat to take us to the air tanker. Don't worry. I'll be ready by the time you get back. What is it? Okay. Burn. Burn, burn. No, 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 no. Oh, shit, shit. Level up. So lucky out. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, um. Yeah, they, um. No, I have to get this first. Shit. Yo, yeah, sir. Hello. Oh, so you are alive. Oh. After all that commotion in the village, I expected to see you dead. So he's the creator but of the guy. <laughs> good. Trying to break into one of my huts was not a good idea. I think you realize this now. So, how did you end up in this living hell? Can you remember? No problem. It's the same for me. All a haze. I'm Kovac. Nice to meet you. Don't be alarmed by the uh, get-up. Just a kind of protection, you know? 
I've been on these islands for several weeks. I know a little about survival. So I built a simple shelter on a neighboring island. You look a little uh, unprepared, but don't worry. Jump in my boat. I will teach you some basic rules of survival. You'll be dead for sure without them. No offense. Yep, your survival guide helped me. <laughs> okay, so I have to follow him to the boat. Or do I have to go there myself? No, why? I'm just gonna go myself. Oh, well, I have to climb all the way there again. Oh, no, wait. It's right here. So many islands. And all of them are filled with zombies. <laughs> so you marked this island as so yourself. As I said, it's basic. But it's been enough to help me survive so far. Anyway, let's get started. You've got a lot to learn and not a lot of time. So pay attention. Yes, the book. The book. I want the book. You think these mutant zombies are your worst enemies? Nope. You are your own worst enemy. Look at you. Skin all shriveled, muscles weak, hands shaking. This isn't the zombie's fault. It's your fault. What? When was the last time you ate? I know. Now you think about it, it's obvious. You have to eat. That's the topic of the sixth chapter of my book. In time. You will thank me for this advice. But first, you've got to get some food. I'm not going to just give it to you, though. You've got to fend for yourself. You can find plenty of food around here, once you know how to spot it. For instance, see those woods? There are plenty of roots to eat in there. Try, go towards the headland. Find two or three roots to eat. You will feel better right away. If you need more information, just refer to my book. Each chapter gives you critical information, which will help keep you alive. Be vigilant. Infected soldiers may be in this area. Soldiers? Let's say anything about soldiers. Too. So, kill them before they kill you. Oh, buddy! I'm here! What? Still hungry? I want you back. What? Uh, oh, okay. Burn, burn. Grab more of them. Oh, okay. So, can I equip them? Yeah. Rules. Chapter 6 Eating. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about eating. Lack of food means no energy, and no energy means you won't have the strength to fight <laughs> zombies. What the fuck, man? In this environment, you can find many roots to eat. You can also fish and you can hunt for meat. <laughs> in, Never right ever in the eat ass and die. Meat. It will kill you. Uncooked meat here is full of many deadly parasites. Always cook meat before eating. Yes, sir. Finally, yes, sir. Remember that fresh meat is a magnet for predators around here. 
It's not Fresh a chicken or egg. Will attract zombies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm loving this game each time I find a bug, man. Is there anything else I can get? Oh, okay. It let me know my inventory. Okay, I'm not at full. So got two helmets. Two helmets. Getting better. Good. You must remember to eat. Food is strength, and strength is survival. Oh me, you still have more to learn. A lot more. If you don't mind me saying so. More, more, more. The second thing, hydration. In other words, drink water. Lots of it. Without water, you won't be able to run, and your performance will be poor. So remember, drink. Chapter 7 of my guide refers to thirst. If I do say so myself, this survival guide of mine, you can't live without it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here, chapter 7. It's all in there if you need a refresher. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, time for you to quench your thirst. There is an old well on the northwest of the island. Find it, take a drink, and come back. The water there is pure. No zombie juice in it. <laughs> Joking aside, be careful. Wild animals roam there. They think the water is theirs and theirs alone. There's any water. I want your stuff. Okay. Healing ponds. Ponds, ponds. Oh, the fire's gone. Uh, where am I again? Okay, there. So I should always try to pick up stuff from zombies I kill. Mm. Should make it a habit. Any items? Any items? No. Water, water. Okay, where's the water? Oh, okay. Let me talk. Give me a fabric. Die, die. Fresh meat. So, where's the water? I don't see the water here. Oh, wait, wait, right there. Okay, let's take the guy. chance at defeating the zombies you have to take care of your body's basic needs the basis of all survival is drinking eating and sleeping this chapter is about drinking symptoms from lack of water include dizziness and headaches this will affect your ability to concentrate and make critical decisions <laughs> Do not drink from the sea. It causes dehydration. Uh, why? Do not drink from the swamp. It is riddled with disease. It is obvious. <laughs> what? Find fresh water wells and store as much as you can. You will find many containers here. Use them to store water. Okay. So you I will find, find some fresh fruit growing. You can eat this, but be careful about how much. A survivor with the shits is 
<laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, man, this game is fun. Okay. Can I wipe this? Oh, okay, I can. Oh, man, that means I miss a lot of. Oh, man. That means I miss a lot of chance to craft the stuff. Clear my path here. Okay, let's see what I can craft. Okay, so let's go back to call back. Well done! Yeah, you seem breathless. Clearly you found trouble as well as water. Far for the course, my friend. Which reminds me, you need to learn how to make your own equipment. Come, my workshop is just here. I've already made a few myself. Let me grab this. Oh my god, I really miss a lot. I gotta go back and dig for them later on. Oh, flashlight. Oh, I don't even know this. What's this? Oh, yes, empty bottle. Okay, I need the water. I need water. Is there any more things I can get? Oh yes, this. Oh, where I can. Okay. Maybe this. Oh no. Uh... I'm gonna get myself the water first. I see machete. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get one of the machete. And... Oh, nothing here. Okay, let's go back to the mission. Oh wow, it's lit. This fortress looks great. Let's ignite. Let's see if there's other stuff can grab first before I... Oh, there's a lot of stuff, man. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, so you may crop a shotgun, eh? Hey, survivor! No time to take a stroll. Okay, okay, okay. Come back, come back, come back. Welcome to the Kovacs workshop. You like it? You should. There's tons of useful stuff in here. First, you must forage. Search everywhere, even the dead. Items you find may be useful. With the things you find, you can make other things. Things that keep you alive. What at first seems useless could well be useful. This will all become clear very soon. Today, I'll teach you how to craft a shotgun using a harpoon grip, a flailed tube, and a few other bits and pieces. I am a master at this, making junk useful. Very useful. Stay focused while I show you how to do it. Okay, pick up all the things on the workbench. Now, make me a gun. I will check your work, so make sure it's good enough. Good luck! Uh, build a shop. Okay, I already got a parts ready, right? So let's take this book. This oh no, wait, I'll what this thing first. Talk to me. Yum, 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 yum. Hmm. Chapter 8. Kovacs rules! Chapter 8. Handmade guns. 
you must improvise to survive. It is possible to create your own weapons using spare parts and other tools. The better your weapon, the better your chances of killing the zombies. Pew. You can and should combine found objects to create deadlier weapons. To make a shotgun, select a harpoon grip from your staff. Choose combine and select the diving tank. You now have a new item, but it is not a complete weapon. Combine this item with a flared tube and next with a hardware box. You have created your very own shotgun. So guys, that's For how we create a shotgun. Metal scrap found on dead bodies will be okay. There are many ways you can combine items, but choose wisely. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, this even... Oh. What? <laughs> oh man, this even more just than Dead Rising 3. Okay, so now we know how to get create a shotgun in real life. So you need a harpoon grip, a flare tube, a diving tank, and then some hardware tools. Let's combine the shit. Okay, let's combine the last pieces and we got ourselves a shotgun! Yeah! Oh, so we combine some more. Oh! Okay, let's equip it. Wow! Good! Now, of course, with some additional parts, it could be improved. Nevertheless, for a first try, it's not bad. Let's put your new weapon to the test, my friend. Want to see if it really works? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna shoot you, uh... Just joking. The third most important danger is fatigue. Exhaustion will kill you. It'll cause you to make mistakes. If you don't rest when your body needs it, you won't be able to function. Running when exhausted? Almost impossible. Of course, you can't sleep if you are not tired. I see it like this. When it comes to surviving, your body is the boss. Oh, one thing. As I said in my book, you cannot sleep just anywhere. By now, you should have figured out that it's too dangerous. To sleep safely, you need to find one of my secure shacks. Chances are, you will have to clean up before you rest. They are usually overrun by scum. There is a secure shack on the east of the island. Your task is this. Find it, clear it out, then take a nap. Of course, you will need ammunition. So when do you usually get to sleep <laughs> on your job? I mean, objectives. Oh, okay, we will stack. Okay, wait, I need to, I need to craft myself some... Some... Eh, some arrows. Oh! Cool! Pew pew pew! Oh shit! Reloading. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's see what we can get here. Hey, survivor! No time to take a stroll. How? 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 How can he even see me? That's cool. Pew. Hmm. Chapter 9. Kovacs rules. 
Chapter 9. Resting. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about resting. To survive day after day, it's imperative to rest. You should not sleep by day and night, but when fatigue is felt, The more you are tired, the more your stamina decreases. You must sleep to replenish your vitality. But you cannot sleep anywhere. It's too dangerous. <laughs> what the hell, man? You must find a safe place where you can rest easy. There are many secure shacks you can sleep in safely. But they will need to be cleaned out before you can rest. Oh shit, what are you? Oh, sure, this album. No, I keep hearing. You hear that? I keep hearing that. I keep hearing someone's. Oh shit, I wasted one bullet for nothing. Okay, is it over? Is it over? I think it's over. Okay, so it's time to clean up the- Oh shit, where did he come from? Run, 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 reload. Hey, shot. Oh, shit. Okay, surprise, I, I have not died yet. <laughs> Okay, so let's pick up the loot. Loot, 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 loot. Okay, no loot. Uh, safe, okay, safe. Wait. I'm trying to press safe, but I can't. Oh, okay. I have to close the door. So, how do I close the door? Oh. Safe. I still can't save. So. Okay, since we are sleeping, I might as well end the episode here. Alright guys, I like this series a lot, I like this game so much right now. I hope to see you guys soon. Peace!